can't believe we're not number one. Welcome back to Western New York Living. And if you're wondering what the two leading cities are, it'll be Raleigh, Durham, and Greensboro, where enough Buffalonians have moved to already, probably to put those metropolitan areas number one in hot dogs. Not knocking hot dogs. Obviously, I've had a, a few probably this week, as a matter of fact. <laughs> but managing your health as you get older is a big part of living a long and healthy life and managing how many hot dogs you take in, which means keeping tabs on your health records and doctor visits, which is all easier than you think. And we're happy to have with us this morning, Dr. Karen Crake, who is a senior manager of regional health improvement at Healthy Link. Uh, doctor, thanks for being here. Thanks for having me, Kevin. For those who might be unfamiliar with Healthy Link, our regular watchers know what Healthy Link is, but uh, <laughs> for the new viewers, uh, can you tell them what Healthy Link is? Sure, so Healthy Link is considered a regional health information exchange. And what that means is it exchange health related information from provider to provider. So that's from hospitals or primary care offices or lab information, anywhere where an individual would get some, um, any kind of clinical care. And, and there's really two functions to this, one for the individual patient, if they go see a new provider, all the information is there, but regionally, you guys are focused on regional health here. Tell us how yes. that uh, is implemented. Right, so this is a pretty exciting time for Healthy Link right now. Um, so as I said before, that we have all of this wonderful information at Healthy Link. So we have um, any kind of health-related information for the majority of the population through Western New York. So while traditionally Healthy Link has been serving um, the provider population and exchanging that information, the question is how can we utilize this health information that we have for public health and community health? So that's where the regional health improvement comes from. So we We've um, embarked on this new path and really it's looking at community by community and community can be defined as a geographic area, it can be defined as a specific population, or it can be defined as a specific health related topic like diabetes or asthma. So what this allows us to do is we're looking at aggregated data at a, you know, a it could be done at like a zip code level, it could be mm -hmm. done at a neighborhood level, it could be done for a specific population if you're looking for a specific age group, if you're looking for a specific race, ethnicity, perhaps gender. It really helps us to hone in on where some of the greatest disparities are in Western New York in terms of health. So it allows us to um, hone in on programs, policies, resource allocations. And so by highlighting those specific disparities where people have the most need, we're able to, um, it brings us down a path closer to achieving health equity. Sure, it sounds like it, it can develop programs to awareness programs right. even, right? To let people know, hey, this is more likely in your community than perhaps other communities. Important to note for the individual, your name's not on the data. No, right. no, that is very important to know. So we're looking at aggregated level data. So we're looking at percentages or rates. Um, and we're just kind of comparison, doing a comparison of like, okay, let's look at this census block compared to this census block, this neighborhood or that neighborhood. So, um, you know, everything is very, very secure at Healthy Link. There's, <clears throat> excuse me, no patient level data that is going to be, um, you know, publicly available and if it ever comes to a point where we're looking at aggregated level data and if it gets to be too small then then we just simply will not present that data so we want to make sure that everyone's um, information is protected all right and the way that works is we the patients sign up so great information yes. there we're going to tell everybody how they can do so healthy link it's a collaboration among hospitals physicians health plans and other health care providers in western new york to securely exchange clinical information and improve the quality of health care for patients to find out more head to their website at WNYHealthyLink.com and join over 1 million people in our area using HealthyLink today.